The Hewitt Trustful Huskies swept both the boys and girls state indoor track meets last week. Their coach called them freak athletes in their individual events, but their secret weapon seems to also be their team camaraderie and the fact that they all love to have fun together. Okay guys, first of all, thank you so much for being here with us today. I understand that you guys swept the boys and girls state championships in indoor track and field, right? How did that feel? Uh, it was pretty surreal. I mean, I know we could both, both teams could pull it off and we did it, so I'm very proud of us. Most uh, Coach Esslinger had been talking about us going one and one in both uh, both girls and boys all week, and uh, it was just something that everyone had to do their events and like had to put in all the work, and we did it, and it was like it was expected, but it was also unexpected at the same time. Yeah, I think it was a goal that we all really had, and I think that idea of both winning is what really pushed both guys and girls individually um, to their max effort. So It felt really great watching the team work together and getting the goal that we knew we could get. Tell me a little bit about how it feels. Um, you know, obviously it's a team sport, but it's also made up of a bunch of individual uh, events and performances. So tell me how y'all uh, gel as a team and how you work together. Um, personally this year I feel like this is the best like team aspect we ever had like like you said it's an individualized sport but I feel like we all came together and like put our strengths together and won the boom out. Yeah as like we all started in June like it was like with Coach Esslinger and everything we all started in June and like we all met each other and like we bonded every track meet we got closer and closer because we realized our potential as a team at the by the state track meet and we really everyone kept putting points on the board and we realized as the met meet went on like everything came together and as we won the track meet so yeah um, we all have our individual events that we like practice every day but every day we warm up together and so I think that we're able to kind of talk and just kind of catch up a little bit but also get our stuff done so yeah I think the biggest thing was definitely the support like from the first track meet to now the support has grown so I think that's the biggest thing. Tell me a little bit about each one of you, um, how you got into the sport, and then if you have any plans. You're, you're all getting close to the end of high school. So what are your plans as you as you go to college? Well, um, I started off playing basketball in middle school, and then the track coach had actually came to one of my games and watched me jump. He asked me to come out to the track team. I came out and really enjoyed it. And um, I'll be running track at Alabama next year. Uh, well, I started, uh, so, Eighth grade year, I didn't make the basketball team, and my football coach, my football O-line coach, told me to come out and throw shot, and I was like, okay. And I was terrible at first, and I was like, I hate this. And um, <laughs> then, like, every day he told me it's all about reps and everything, and I, I kept doing it, kept doing it, and, like, eventually fell in love with the sport and everything, and loved how, like, the individual progress that inflicted on me every time I PR'd and everything, which was fun. College-wise, um, I really want to throw in college and get somewhere in that hopefully. So I started running in seventh grade and you kind of just like hear the announcements of like what sports whatever is coming up and so I heard about cross country and my dad ran so I was like that sounds fun like I'd want to do that and so a lot of times when people run cross country they do track too and so I decided to do track also and I just loved it so yeah. I actually tried out for the basketball team and the dance team and the volleyball team <laughs> and like six I mean six and seventh grade and I didn't make it and then I heard that you didn't have to try out for the track team <laughs> so I uh, I ran track in seventh grade and I was actually I was kind of good so I was like I might as well stay and I'm gonna be running track um, at Sanford University so I really love it I met the most amazing friends here and I'm just so happy that's great. Tell me, each one of you, what is the best part of running track, and then what is your least favorite part about running track? Ooh, the best part. I really love my teammates. They make everything better. And the worst part, any like speed endurance workout, anything over 200 meters, honestly. <laughs> uh, for me, I would say the best part is just like being able to come out and throw with all my friends and everything, and like we bond as together as a team, and like we compete together as a team, as teammates in practice, and it's always fun. Like whoever throws the farthest and like and like shot put is like we're always competing every time. And the worst part is um, for me as a as a shot putter, it's like falling into the gravel sometimes because I <laughs> felt one time, and that was that was like probably the worst part for me. Yeah. So I think the best part is like Julian said um, that it's just like the team, like we just have so much fun out there and I think that's what keeps a lot of us coming back 
but I'd say the hardest part is the distance you have to get a lot of miles in so just making sure you're getting those miles in is yeah the best part for me I mean the team is cool but <laughs> I really love the way I feel when I run like it just releases stress I just like I just like to do it the worst part is also running it just um I guess when you run too much when you run too hard like he said speed endurance don't like to do it, it hurts yeah but well congratulations again you guys you got that blue map and congrats thank, thank you, you. Yeah. Thank you. OS1 Sports Injury Clinic in Hoover is a proud partner of High School Sports Weekly. OS1 has fellowship trained sports medicine physicians right here in your community. There's no appointment needed, just drive up to the door. We've got x-ray and MRI on site. So now, being injured or having an orthopedic issue doesn't mean you need to be exposed to sick people. Avoid the hassle and time of going to an ER when you can get more specialized care in a more timely fashion at OS1. Open seven days a week to serve you. It's OS1 Sports Injury Clinic. You can find them online at bettersooner.com.